peace of the Lord be with you, and uh, good evening. This is our devotion for Monday, August 30th, and I'll be getting this out you know, l- later in the day. So um, we'll go ahead and do the early evening order, page 297 in the hymnal. And our gospel lesson for this week is Luke chapter 17, verses 11 through 19, which is the healing, uh, the cleansing of the ten lepers. We begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Joyous light of glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, we have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. All right, Luke chapter 17, beginning at verse 11. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was passing along between Samaria and Galilee, and as he entered a village, he was met by ten lepers who stood at a distance and lifted up their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice, and he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. Now he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus answered, Were not ten cleansed? Where are the nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, Rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. Let us pray. Blessed Lord Jesus Christ, we give you thanks that you have cleansed us. We thank you that you have cleansed us from our sin, that you have washed us and purified us, and that you have brought us um, in that cleansing of your blood into the purity of your holiness. And we pray that you would continue to make us holy in your uh, image and um, restore us to that per- perfection of holiness that um, that you originally created man in your image and, and do so in your holy kingdom, that you would uh, keep us in faith unto that day where we would be raised and live before you and live before you in your kingdom eternally, as you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Um, So as we see Jesus in this passage, uh, you know, he's going to Galilee, or going between Samaria and Galilee, and he's got these lepers, and um, and then they are um, seeking to be healed. And they they call out to him. And and I mentioned last week about this, uh, this response of Jesus to... The um, to the lawyer, you know, he's saying if you get a, ask, ask a law question, you get a law answer, and this is uh, the contrast to that. When they they ask for mercy, Jesus doesn't say, "Well, yeah, now now go and and, and do this, and uh, and you'll be healed." You know, go go live up to the law. Uh, interestingly, though, he he does say, "Go and show yourselves to the priest." And before they even get there, you know, that's what's interesting is before they get there, it's not as though they're healed by going to the priest. They're healed by Jesus, uh, because before they get there, then this one, um, as they went, they saw that they were cleansed, right? And the one saw that he'd been healed and then returned. And of course, you know, this is the uh, this is the, the the passage that we have for um, uh, for Thanksgiving, and and we have that because there is this this thing. So you know, the one he what does it say? He turned back, praising God with a loud voice, and he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. And, and of course, the note is in the, the uh, gospel that he's a Samaritan. That's important because Jesus, you know, says, "Well, what happened? To the other ten were not ten cleansed. Where the nine was only was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner." And so then he, uh, you know, and, and so there's this, this Thanksgiving there. You can see why why this passage is used for that because this is this is about giving thanks and and you have to understand what being a leper would be like and why they're so thankful and that's because what a leper would have to live with would be um you know being set apart from their community they wouldn't the 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 jewish lepers that's why they have to go to the priest is because they they couldn't go and enter into the worship in the temple you know so they're cut off from from that connection to god there too and and um what, what, what the, the point I think that Jesus makes here, and um, I'll probably draw this out a little bit more in the Sermon on Sunday, is, is that you've got these, these ten who are healed. Nine of them, you can tell, are, are just grateful because of 
the material aspect of it, right? They're grateful for the physical aspect of it. They're grateful that they they get to to go and um, you know go go back to their families. They're grateful that they get to return home and and be a part of society again. And and don't get me wrong, that is that's a lot to be grateful for. But look at the distinction between that and and then what he says here. To uh, he says uh, said to him, rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well, and that word in, in the Greek there for, for made you well is, um, is is from the root to, to, to be saved, right? It's uh, it's it's a perfect tense. So it's your faith has and still makes you well, right? And um, and so there, there's this living in that. But I think I think that there's this distinction because you're demonstrating. Well, obviously the, the, it's the distinction is that there's faith in Christ here, but you know there's this also aspect of it. You you are um, you 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 are saved out of the brokenness and the fallenness, not of just your life, but of this world, and you are made well in Christ. And of course, that's the beauty of the forgiveness of our sins, right? That that we too are are saved. We too are made well. You know, we have this leprosy of sin that clings to us, and and Christ forgives that and makes us well. And uh, and so we have the joy of eternity in His kingdom. We are we are saved. We are saved from sin, we are saved from death, and we are saved from the power of the devil. And, uh, and all of that in the victory of Christ who, who bore our sin on the cross and was raised again, that we would have eternal life, and in that, that, that he would have victory over the devil himself and, and free us from that tyranny that we would live with him forever in his kingdom. Amen. All right, um, we continue with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for the evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our constant companion on the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope among us. We may recognize you as you, are, as you are revealed in the scriptures and in the breaking of the bread. Grant this for your name's sake. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.